Hey there, YouTubers. All right, so checking out the BIOS of this Gigabyte UDACZ790. Now, I made this uh, video previously on the other channel. Uh, I wanted to redo it. Didn't think it came out as good, so here we are. All right, so when you first come into the BIOS, end up in easy mode, and you see this information here, Z790, so the model number. Here is the BIOS version. So we have updated the BIOS at least once. Of course, out of the box, this thing is compatible with the Unlock 13th Gen CPUs. Later on, we'll uh, test it to see how it goes with the locked CPUs. You can see the quantity of RAM here, 32 gigs, and the status of the RAM. So after I did this BIOS update, folks, I did not come back and turn on XMP. Don't forget to do that after you do a BIOS update. So let's go ahead and enable that here. And boom, this is uh, up to 5200 here. Now at some point, I probably will test this RAM to see if we can push that beyond 5200. This is uh, Eris RAM. Uh, you check it out on my channel. Very compatible, obviously, with the Gigabyte and Eris uh, motherboards. Boot sequence, you can see I only have one M.2 on here. Let's jump over here. So you can see it there. Uh, shows the graphics card. And we have an RTX 2080 Ti in here, so hence why we see that. SATA, none attached. Over here, folks, uh, CPU temp. And on this, I have, uh, this is the uh, i9-13900KF, but have a Noctua NHU14S on here. So not necessarily an ideal CPU cooler, but uh, it does get the job done for uh, most things. All right, so system temp, you see this information. Now, if we had a bunch of fans hooked up, you'd see those. Right now, you only see the CPU fan. If we want to go in and adjust... Uh, our fan speed so the default is silent it looks like and you can go as high as full speed I'm gonna change mine to normal and I want to save my fan profile so I'm gonna do that reserved in the BIOS and so that's gonna increase you know obviously the uh, RPMs uh, maybe a little bit of noise and, uh, you know, potentially use up a little more electric, but it'll help keep the uh, the temps a little cooler. All right, so that's about all I'm going to show you in here. Now, one of the places you can go to update the BIOS is here. I've got a uh, one of the BIOS videos that I made, which is the one that you don't need a CPU, GPU, or RAM installed for this. I think the one that I did do, though, folks, potentially was uh, had all that stuff hooked up. Uh, I'll have to go double-check that. But um, eventually I will do the BIOS update through here, okay? And there may be a new BIOS available. We'll check that out eventually. Let's jump over to advanced mode. Now, all the way to the left, favorites, and you can add and uh, delete items from here if you'd like. You see there, that's how you do that. Tweaker mode. So we'll go into each one of these menus. I won't know uh, crap about some of them, but uh, overall, folks, we will uh, hopefully advise you on a few things. All right. So as soon as I stop scrolling around, let's go into advanced CPU settings. If I can get the mouse to jump on it, it's almost like there's a little bit of an offset there. That's what you see in here, folks. Yeah, we're definitely having problems. This is my EVGA mouse. Usually it works better in the BIOS. So we're just scrolling. So one thing about this one, it is uh, jumping you back to the top instead of, you know, ending, basically scrolling all the way down and it stops. Um, it's not really a menu there. 
seeing if there's any other menus to look at. So, you know, most of the time when it says auto, they'll be enabled or disabled. And we need to go back one. So for RAM, you know, if if this didn't work at 5200 megahertz, and we've already found it would, we'd go in here and adjust that, right? So the simplest thing to do if if your computer after you hit that XMP does not boot back up, or maybe it takes three tries and it eventually boots back up, it most likely has reset itself back to the base speed, which for this RAM is 4800 megahertz. So you could go in and try, and we'll eventually get there, it's taking forever to scroll. Um, you can eventually go in and try a slower speed. So like I said, this is good to 5200. You know, maybe you come in and try 5100, 5066. Now if it's working really good, of course, you could try pushing 5300, 5333. Uh, you know, sometimes you can check to see what other variations of this RAM they sell. And sometimes it will RAM will run at those speeds, uh, the higher speeds. Now, if it is unstable and you're having blue screen errors and other issues, um, you may want to lower the speed, right? So this should be where the timings are in here. And yeah, if we click here. And we'll just scroll through this and eventually it'll start back over at the top. Even though whether it does or not, I might not be able to tell. There we go. Advanced voltage settings. We'll just open that real quick. And that's all in there, folks. Uh, settings, platform power, I.O. ports, and most of this stuff not very interesting to look at. So we'll open them up. Open up a few of these. usually not much under these, right? And just mainly a lot of information stuff. Let's click over to uh, system info. So basically, you know, a lot of what you saw on the um, easy mode and then some of this stuff repeats. And if you need to change your time, could do that in here. Another place to change Q flash. So a lot of times you'll see on motherboards it'll say tools or something. Uh, that one happens to be here. And there's also a spot here to change the BIOS. Or update the BIOS, excuse me. We click on the boot. If I have more than one drive, I could show you how to uh, update the BIOS. Or excuse me, not update the BIOS. Change your boot option. So if you have multiple drives on here, you would be able to do that. And then to get out of here, folks, save and exit. Now, after you do a BIOS update, uh, two things that may change. We already talked about the RAM. The other, if you have multiple drives, it may change the uh, boot priority around on you. So keep that in mind. All right, we are done. Thanks for checking out the video. Hope you got something out of it. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.